Hey guys, I have something super fun planned for today and this has been in the works for a long time. So many of you always request that I do ideas on how to fill your sketchbook. And aren't you in luck today? because that's what we're doing and we have seven really fun ideas. I just can't wait to share them with you. So let's just get started. Alrighty, you guys are in for a little bit of a treat today because we just so happen to be starting a brand new sketchbook. Ugh, that is so exciting, so exciting. So I'm gonna take my Arteza watercolors and I'm going to tape off the edges of the sketchbook page with actually the washi tapes that I designed. And we're gonna set the tone of this sketchbook with something bright, easy, and fun. And if you're somebody who gets discouraged when you start a new art project, or maybe you wrestle with anxiety, this one is an excellent idea for you. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a bunch of different leaf shapes and I'm scattering them all around the page. So since it's fall, I decided to be a little festive and sprinkle some oak leaves, maple leaves, ginkgo leaves, ash leaves. And then you're gonna see in a little bit, I'm gonna spice it up with some house plants. I'm really, really obsessed with angel wing begonias and I thought it would just make this piece pop a little more. So my suggestion for you, if you're not somebody who likes plants, you could totally apply this concept to things that you enjoy. For instance, if you love desserts and you're okay with tempting yourself to eat them, yeah, you could do a whole page full of desserts. Now I really love this one because you don't have to do a lot of planning and if you get intimidated with, you know, the first page of your sketchbook or even just using a nice sketchbook that you have. I hear a lot of people say that. They're afraid to use and ruin their nice sketchbooks. I'm telling you, this is a good one for overcoming that fear. And once you keep adding more things and more colors and all these little details to fill the space, it's a nice confidence booster. So I highly recommend it. And in fact, if you're really intimidated, you can totally just copy the one that I'm doing in this video and maybe it'll make you more comfortable. So yeah, feel free to do that if it helps you. Before we continue on to the next idea on how to fill your sketchbook, I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. So I love Audible. I've been a loyal customer for about a year, a year and a half, and I'm an artist for a living. So that means my eyes are busy painting and illustrating and doing all sorts of stuff, but my ears are free. And during the day, I really appreciate listening to audiobooks. Now Audible is the leading provider in spoken word entertainment so let me tell you a little bit about that. They offer audiobooks ranging from mystery thrillers to finance and just brushing up on your language skills and sci-fi, fantasy. Yeah, I kind of just listed a lot of the things that I listen to, huh? Audible also just offered their new plan called Audible Plus, and it connects you with tons of content to inspire and inform you. With Audible Plus, you get full access to the Audible Plus catalog, which is filled with thousands and thousands of Audible originals, audiobooks, and popular podcasts that are ad-free. Now, I like Audible because pretty much everything I wanna listen to is all in one app, and that's really nice and simplified, so you can't go wrong with that. There's also a really cool holiday offer for Audible Plus, meaning your first six months are only $4.95. And then after that, it goes up to $7.95. And you can enjoy all those things that I just mentioned. Some audiobooks that I recommend, if you're into finance, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham is very informative. If you're into sci-fi, fantasy, The Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson, mm. 
and the voice actor is phenomenal. And an audiobook I just started, but I can already recommend it to you, is called Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. It kind of talks about the psychology of how we think, and yeah, very good, very good. Highly recommend. All right, if you want to try Audible, go to audible.com slash Mira or text Mira to 500-500. Once again, that is audible.com slash Mira or text Mira to 500-500 right here. I will also link it down below for your convenience. All right, back to the video. Let's make some art. So this idea is time consuming, but it's super easy and fun. You'll need some ink and then some water and add a little bit of ink to that water. And then you're going to mix it up and start layering on a page. So I chose this pretty minty green and I filled a whole page in my sketchbook and you gotta let it dry. And then you're gonna repeat that a bunch of times, but don't fill the whole page every time. That way it's kind of like a little mountain gradient. That was my purpose anyway. And a little tip, if you want this stuff to dry faster, use a hair dryer. Anyway, I kept adding more ink to the water to get the color slightly darker. And then I did silhouettes of trees, added more ink to the water, did darker silhouettes of the trees. And then I just kept repeating that. It's really cool because it adds depth to your project. And you're not actually doing like intense shading or anything. You're just gradually making your color darker. So if shading intimidates you, I would say this is a great one to kind of get the hang of making colors darker. But this is monochromatic, so kind of nice. Anyway, that's how my piece turned out. If you guys watched one of my recent videos, you will have seen this eye. Now this sketchbook is pretty big. I'm the type of person who enjoys smaller sketchbooks, but I want this in here. So I'm just gonna transfer it and that's a cool idea that you can do too. So what I'm gonna do actually is just put it right on this page. So I actually drew this eye with colored pencil and I'm pretty happy with it. And I think it would actually match this page pretty nicely. So let's roll with it. I've got some double-sided tape. And there we go. It is secure in my sketchbook and now I will not lose it. But if you want to know how to take this to the next level, and you don't wanna just leave it there taped, then you can draw a frame around it to make it look like it's displayed nicely. I'm using this gold leaf marker that I just held up. And there we go. Look at that frame. And if you wanna take it to the next level, let me tell ya. Okay, so now we have like a fun geometric gold leaf frame all around the little piece that we taped in here. So yeah, if you're looking for a way to make some of your scrap artwork pop or maybe something that you drew in another sketchbook, boom, here you go. Have you ever been drawing in your sketchbook with marker or some type of ink only to be disappointed that it bled through the other side? Have no fear, I'm gonna show you how to save that page. So you can see here I taped off my page with washi tape and now I'm doing a dilute layer of paint. What? Yeah, you can make this busted up page look like an intentional masterpiece in about 20 or 30 minutes, or, you know, however long it takes you to paint something. But I used gouache paint, and you can also use acrylic paint. Now, depending on your level of laziness, you can go straight into it, like me, 
Or you could use gesso and completely cover it first. Totally up to you, it is your sketchbook, so hey, whatever, no judgment here. Now, pick something that makes you happy. I decided to do a landscape because I'm really into those things. But you know, you're gonna see all that stuff that kind of bled through the other side. So I figure if you pick something that makes you happy, it'll kind of encourage you to keep going, keep covering that mess. So yeah. Now the beauty of this, since sketchbooks are pretty small, you don't have to do tons of detail if you don't want to. So I kind of made mine an intentional color study, if you will. I've been studying different purple hues in the backgrounds of nature lately. So my purpose with this was just, just kind of roll with that. Now, once you peel this washi tape off, basically you have a really cleaned up looking painting and eh, nobody's gonna know what was there before it, right? Nobody's gonna know. Put it on TikTok, nobody's gonna know. Nobody. There you go. So this idea here is probably my absolute favorite one of this entire video, and I only used one colored pencil. That's it. So what I did, and what I suggest to you, is to find a picture online or maybe a picture that you took and kind of make it look like an old fashioned photo. So I just took a brown colored pencil and I sketched everything out really lightly. And then as time went on, you'll see that I start to add value to this. And ah, it's so cool. It almost looks like an Instagram filter. And speaking of Instagram, you may have gotten a spoiler alert because I did share this on Instagram about a week or two ago. <laughs> But yeah, I decided to draw Arches National Park and I got this photo off of Pixabay, which is like a royalty free photo site, not sponsored from them or anything, but I use it quite a bit and many other artists use it too. So recommend it if you need reference photos. And yeah, I just have had this travel vibe going all year now. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about traveling, but it kind of quenches the thirst for me to draw places I want to see. <laughs> and this picture really piqued my interest because a travel van was actually driving down the street. So, uh, what a vibe, what a vibe. Now, all the rocks in the background were super fun to draw because there was so much value in them. So my next suggestion to you is if you're struggling with shading and you're trying to learn that or improve, draw rocks. There's so much value in them, but there's no stress on proportions. I mean, like, if you draw a rock wrong, who's gonna know? <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the same with food, because food comes all shapes and sizes, you know? But, yeah. So, now, from the beginning to the end of this, it looks completely different, and I do really feel like it looks like an Instagram filter. So if you want that fun experience, yeah, highly recommend. I just took a brown colored pencil, as I said, but you could totally change this up and do some sort of monochromatic theme with a different color. Like, I think this would look really cool with probably like purple or orange too. Actually, I chose those two colors and I sat them aside because I couldn't decide. <laughs> so I hope you like this idea and I really hope this one inspires you because it gave me so much joy. If you are someone who enjoys experimenting in your sketchbook, trying new things, or maybe you enjoy edgy art or dancing on the line of surrealism and abstract, well, you're in luck because this one is for you. 
So you can see here I am drawing a portrait right now and I'm only using a black ballpoint pen. And you might be thinking, Mira, what does this have to do with abstract art? Well, here's a little spoiler alert. Do you see those six little squares that I left blank in my washi tape? Something is going to happen soon, but I'll get to that later. So in the middle of this face here, I did a decent amount of detail, but you can see now that I have fanned out to the hair, it's a lot less detailed. And that's where the fun is going to come in. So shade the neck, get a couple last details in, but now we're going to gear up for the fun, kind of messy part. You ready for this? Okay, pay attention. We are going to take a color and sort of change it slightly as we go down those squares. And I chose red and made it a little bit more orange. Now I'm gonna take all those six colors and incorporate it into this sketch, into kind of like the background in her lips. I just wanted it to pop. Now, in a second, you're going to see all the colors on the page change, and that's because I didn't realize that using red would kind of make this look a little morbid, <laughs> so I made it purple when I started dripping everything down the page just to make it seem a little more cheerful. <laughs> anyway, that was me not thinking super far ahead, but yeah, I highly recommend this. When it dries, it does look super cool. I mean, really surreal, and I really enjoyed the process. Okay, so the next idea I actually did off camera, and I wanted to show it to you, and it is loose florals. And the reason why I'm recommending this is because it's really difficult to mess up loose florals because you can just do like interpretive brush strokes and sort of make it as abstract as you want. Mine doesn't even look realistic. I purposely just, you know, let my brush strokes show, decided not to do tons of contrast, but it still looks fun. And you can still tell it's a, like a bouquet of flowers, so that's kind of cool. I did this with gouache paint, but you can honestly do it with like whatever you want. And I personally love these because it makes my sketchbook like a really bright, happy place. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. Well, thank you so much for watching this sketchbook ideas video. I have to say this spread is probably one of my favorite spreads I've done in a while. I think both of these just go together really well. So, I don't know. That was just by coincidence too. I wasn't really thinking too hard about it. And this spread is just uh, very interesting because I wasn't really thinking about the color choices that I chose and it kind of looks a little yeah I, I feel like I should have done like blue or purple or something that's all anyway if you want to see more how to fill your sketchbook videos let me know I love to bring inspiration to you and just encourage you to express yourself through your art whether you're going through a good time or a difficult time there's room to feel both of those and I think it's just so wonderful that we can express that through art, especially when we don't have words for it, which is usually my situation. <laughs> and one last thing, to take advantage of that holiday offer for Audible, go to audible.com slash Mira or text Mira to 500 500. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye.